In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up an altar for your business. Now, why? let's talk about what is an altar and why you need an altar for your business. What does an altar have to do with that? Okay, so the reason an altar is really important for your business, if you want to grow and evolve your business, is because an altar is a symbol. It's also an act of symbolism for your business. And there are a few items that I have in my altar. And this is just my personal um, share on what I keep in my altar and how this has helped me evolve and grow my business. And in my altar, it's basically, you know, like my business is very sacred to me because it's of service and I'm here to serve people. And in order to, to signify that, I've created an altar because it's not only a sacred as for me, it's not only sacred, but it's sacred, the people I am serving. So it's a, it's like I'm amplifying the energy for, um, for helping support the people I am serving. So here are a few things that I have in my altar. My name is Padma Ali, and I, and you can find me on PadmaAli.com and on Instagram at Padma Ali. And you know, I have a podcast called Create Your Vibrant Life Podcast. So you're welcome to follow me in all those places to get more information and to be in my energy field. And so I can serve you. This is my service to you. All these videos and my podcasts and everything that I do is in service for all the people who may or may not be able to afford to work with me. And so this is my way of giving of service back. And so in um, in today's video, one of, the reason I wanted to share with that is because um, I've, I've gotten asked by a few people, like how, with, what are some of my spiritual tools that I use to help grow my business? And an altar is one of them. And I have an altar for a number of different things, but I have an altar specifically for my business. And if you don't know much about me, my I am here and my, my goal in this lifetime is to help you discover your dharma or help you work with your dharma, bring your spiritual gifts into the world. And so you can not only help, help enhance the world in the way that only you can, but also monetize, make money, live abundantly, live in a, in a beautiful way because we're here in this lifetime for such a short amount of time. And so might as well live it to the fullest and also be of service, help evolve, help others evolve and grow and not only help them grow, you grow and evolve as in the process. That is what I'm here to do. And that's how I'm going to help support you as well. So altars are important. Now, my desk right now is an altar, and I cannot turn my camera around and show it to you now because I don't want to. It's because some of these spiritual gifts are just for your own private experience. So if you have an altar, it is also important that you don't make it very public and, and um, keep it around. It's also important for you to have some, because it's sacred, right? So we don't expose sacred things in without any um, reverence so the sacredness is going to help you keep it more um, you have to decide whether you're going to keep it public or whether it's private for me it's private and I have an altar right there this is my office and I have it right there and that is where my office altar my business altar is as well so let's talk about a few things that I keep in my altar one is a crystal grid or crystal. I have a crystal grid and I also have crystals. And the reason I keep a crystal grid is because it amplifies the energy. Crystals are very, very, very um, powerful tools to use. I have crystals pretty much everywhere. And some of them have points like these. These are meant to have more energy um, in them. And so I have certain crystals that have, these are, these are amplifiers. So I have crystal grids that I have created for specifically for the business. And some of them just look like this and they have different colors and different things. Each of them have so much significance. I am not going to go into all of that in this particular video, maybe another one if there's enough interest. And these crystals 
will help enhance the power of the work you're doing in the world. So you can create a crystal grid and you can write the names of your clients or you can write the name of your business and write the information that your business does. Like, what is your business here to do? You can write that and create a crystal grid around it. So crystal grids often look like, you know, you put a center, you put crystals around it. You can do it that way or you can just put a single crystal. I have both. I have I have all of that. And you can write the name of your business. You can write what your business does. You can write the names of your clients. Um, I put I, I write every single client who works with me. Their name is on a piece of paper and it's in my altar because I'm amplifying the energy. I'm also bringing in um, universal guidance for them. I'm helping. I'm I'm setting an intention for their guides and my guides to work together to help them evolve to the next level for them to have all the successes i want each of my clients who have invested in themselves to really experience the results that they came into experience so crystals are one element that i use in my altar the other things that I use on my altar are incense or sage, any, any of those, um, they, they are really great for that because it helps you, um, sage has smoke, incense has smoke, smoke is very cleansing, it's clearing, so I often will burn sage, I will burn an incense, I will light a candle because fire element I'm also using the, the power of fire. I'm also using the power of smoke to clear any energies that are not serving any of my clients. In addition to the work that I do with them energetically, this is another way I keep my, my altar clear of energies that are not service of service. And so it can help bring their um, um, whatever they, it is that they are manifesting into the, into the light. So sage, um, or incense are great the great additions to your altar. I also use um, cleansing sprays like essential oil sprays, or I will make my own um, spray with some essential oils in them. They look like this, and then I spray it in my office. I spray it in my altar, and you can see all the <laughs> little particles because that also will help. Again, it's all about clearing, right? So much of manifestation is shedding, letting go, so that you can attract whatever it is that you're wanting to attract in your life. So keeping your altar clear is very important. Using elements like water, um, like you can see, I have a plant here. So you can use earth energy. You can use fire, which is a candle. You can use water. I often will leave a bowl of a, a little cup of water. Um, as an element, again, these elements are all in service of whatever it is that they will amplify whatever intention you're setting, okay? So you can do that. You can you can um, keep a bowl of water. You can basically use all the elements, fire, earth, water, whatever it is. So you can make an offering to the to your altar once a week, and that also will help um, amplify whatever intention you're setting. Now, with an altar, intention is very important because intentions are how we create. So with an intention, you're amplifying whatever energy it is. So not only do I have names of my clients, I have, I have what my business is here to do in service, and I also have my revenue goals I've written down and I put it there. Now, <coughs> I always say, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> As you probably see, I do not edit my videos because I'm, this is, you get this, this is how it is. So, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> we're talking about intention. We were talking about, um, hmm, I completely lost my train of thought. Excellent. <laughs> okay, it'll come to me or it won't. Bottom line is um, you can, you can use the elements. Intention is really powerful. Use your intention to help create whatever it is that you're creating with your business. Oh yeah, revenue goals. I've written down revenue goals. Now I always put the 
put the caveat of this or something better, this or something better. So with that, you can make sure that you are always tending to your altar. Your altar is interactive. So you can, you can connect with your altar. You can enhance. You can talk to your altar. You can make requests. You can make offerings. You can do all of that. It's like an interactive process because your altar is your connection with the universe. It's a symbolism for connecting with the universe. It also amplifies the energy. So with that, let me know if you have any questions. If you are ready for a free masterclass, the five keys, spiritual keys to help you grow your business, then email me at support at padmaali.com with spiritual as just a word spiritual. And I will send you a free masterclass on the five spiritual keys to help grow your business. All right. So keep me posted, share this video and subscribe to the channel, invite your tribe to subscribe, and also follow and post in the comments. You can also find me on Instagram, and I will see you on another video.